Hi, welcome back. I'm Broward County Commissioner Stacy Ritter. We're here at the Electric Vehicles Sum Stakeholder Summit event, right? Sponsored by the South Florida Regional Planning Council, the Treasure Coast Planning Council, and Florida Power and Light, a public-private partnership which is partially funded by a Department of Energy grant. And now I'm with Anne Louise Seabury, who is the Electric Vehicles Program Manager, Program Manager for Florida Power and Light. For Florida Power and Light, and we're going to talk about it. And then, of course, Chris, 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 Chris Hishmati. Hishmati's in the background there. South Florida. I told you her title several times, and it's very, very long. <laughs> and I don't have my cheat sheet in front of me, so I can't remember it all, but I know she's really cool. Um, and she does a great job. So, this is the engine. Okay, what's this part? Okay, this is the charging port. So, you could drive this straight home from the dealership and plug into a standard household outlet using this side. This side is also good for a level two charging, which charge at a much faster rate, um, four to six hours from zero to full. Um, on a level one charging, which is using the household outlet, it would be overnight. So if you so come you home from work, plug in, and you're fully charged the next morning. This is a regular plug, like I would find. Yeah, I mean, not this end. It comes with a charger. It comes with which a charger. Will, which will do yeah. when we go around the back of the vehicle. Yeah. And um, this has to be special. This is, yes, this, this is, is DC fast charging. Um, the standards aren't yet adopted here in the United States. They're expecting it in the first quarter of next year, the standard to be adopted. And what that allows you to do is charge a car very quickly from zero to full in, in less than a half an hour. Oh, wow. So uh, DC fast charging is expected to be useful along major highway corridors, so along I-95, Florida Turnpike, and so forth. So it's expected that eventually you'll just be able to pull into a charging station like you would a regular gas station. Yeah, but you know, coffee and yeah. Yeah, you're set to go. Uh, most charging is going to happen at home. So uh -huh. you get home from work, charge overnight. So in rare cases, you would need public charging um, if you wanted to drive from Miami. One of the interesting things is Nissan made the engine look like a traditional car, so there's enough new things about it, so they purposely design it to look familiar to consumers. Mm -hmm. With the yeah, like the water, the windshield wipers and stuff like yeah. that. But it's an all electric. Yes, this is 100 percent electric, no gas at all, and zero emissions. Zero emissions, which is really important when we're talking about sustainable communities and climate change. Yeah. And by the way, there is climate change. <laughs> and we could go into dealerships now or very soon and just learn about the car. I think that's very cool. And let's go inside. I think a lot of people think about an electric car as being like a go car, mm -hmm. you know, without all the bells and whistles that you get in a regular car. So, um, are the keys in it? You're welcome to get in and turn <laughs> it on. I don't know. Marie? No, nope, there's no key, but that's okay. That's okay. It's got an app. It's got radio. I'd like to, you to turn it on. Okay. It's really, all right. Oh. So all it you, has to an do, you don't need to put the key anywhere. It just okay. needs to be in the vehicle. So put your foot on the brake and press that button. And there you go. Is You're it starting on? it. It's on. It's wow. <laughs> that quiet. It has no um, vibration. No. It's got no noise at all. No, for safety reasons, Nissan has put uh, uh, artificial noise so that the blind and, and so forth hear that the car oh, is okay. coming. Okay, so, um, but it doesn't seem to be making that. Well, we're not moving. Once oh, okay. it starts moving, it'll have a low-pitched one. Oh, okay, okay. And there was some concern about that with the disabled community about hearing, uh, about hearing a car. So, Nissan's... A lot of people, it's just a habit. Uh, you listen for cars. Right. If you don't hear a car, you'll cross the street. Right. So it, it's right. a good safety mechanism to have these artificial sounds. I wonder what people in big cities like New York City are going to do. They want those people to fall asleep to the sound of cars. Yeah. And, and it's got... Um, if you hit OK there, you'll see some screen features. So that's the radio. If you hit Menu over to the right, uh, and then hit Info, which is the... Could see some oh wow so it's got a nav system too a navigation mm -hmm. system yep and it'll show you how far you can drive with your current state of the battery that screen shows you where your energy is being used by the climate control system the other systems and if we were moving right now um those that the screens would be dynamically live so you could see moment by moment where the energy is going wow 
And, wow, that's pretty, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, these EVs have lots of tools to help you drive more efficiently. There's various uh, up on the dashboard. Uh, if you're driving efficiently, you'll grow a tree over time, uh, so you could, you know, see that you're doing and get instant feedback, so you could get further range from your car. And how do I turn up? Just push the button. Just push the button. Wow. Oh. Back to you, and let's go around to the back. And it's a full size vehicle. That's in fact, I can show you the level one charger. So, this is the charger that comes with the car. This is level one, so you could drive straight home. This gets plugged into the port, and, and that this gets plugged into the wall. It looks like my mm -hmm. uh, my blow dryer plug yep. on the one on this side. And there's electricity to virtually every home and business, so you could plug in wherever you can find an outlet. Um, it's just the level two, if you upgrade your home to a level two charger, it's just a lot of convenience and much faster. And um, it's 77, but how, can you quantify how much it would cost yeah. to charge? It's funky math to get up to that, but it's, it's about 80% cheaper to charge your car with electricity than to fill it up with gas. And here in Florida especially, because our electric rates are lower than the national average, so if you live in Florida, you're getting an even better benefit from it. Um, so, well, if you were to drive a Nissan Leaf a thousand miles in a month, your electric bill would go up about thirty-five dollars. Oh gosh, I spend that. I spend that. I spend more than that just to fill my car up once a week. Yeah. Well, that's great. Um, thank you very much. Both oh, of you. Sure. Thank you for being here yeah, this morning. To you too. Thanks so much for the yeah. invitation. Thank you, Chris. Have a great summit. Thanks, everybody. We'll be back with another coffee with Stacy. Have a good one.